that is a good sound. Sound. So, so to me, sound is important. You know, uh, when I'm listening, listening to uh, Luciano Pavarotti, uh, Sarah Vaughan, they both have a good sound. You know what I'm saying? So, so, um, but I'm saying that I think that if more, more young musicians would put more time into developing a good sound. I mean, you can have technique up here, you know. <laughs> you, can, you can, you know, have enough technique to give away to the Russians, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So technique is, technique is not, is, to me, is not that important. The most important thing to me is sound. No matter who I'm listening to, is if they have a good sound. And, and you know, if you think about it, uh, everybody doesn't sound alike, you know. And, that, and that's great, you know, so that means that you can develop your own sound, you know, as long as, it's, as, long as you can project, that's what I'm saying, you know, something, as long as something is happening, you know, you can have lots of technique, and, but if you can't project it, ain't nothing happening, Jack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you know personally? Have I tried to play that? Yes. Or no. No. So listen to it. It's great. But Uh, yeah, you know, you know, in other words, you're saying like playing along with the record sort of thing. I think you should you change all your mind because you play in your way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like you. And you change all your mind, you know. You are the good. You are the good. Another concert? Another concert? You know what I mean? I'm aware of other concepts and other musics, but uh, it's impossible to, to play everything, you know. So what you have to do is, is, is commit yourself to make a personal development of, of your style and the way you would like to improvise. Because improvising, I mean, we could talk for, you know, three weeks about just about improvising because, um, you know, that's actually, uh, it's, it's more difficult to me to play to just to make up something, you know, than it is to play on, say, a chord structure. And, and when you have a chord structure and you know what the chord is, then you, you play around the chord structure. But, but you know, like we play, I mean, every time we get up to play, you know, um, we just, I mean, it's just like making up stuff, you know. You just make up something and you play it right there on the spot. And that's very difficult to, I mean, especially if you, if you want it to be uh, strong, <coughs> vibrant and creative and all of that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, it's very difficult to do that. I mean, to be extemporaneous like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, composers that you mentioned, I work with Charles Eisenhower's book. Okay. You know, uh, <coughs> their compositions are created the way you can position the composition is created. It's a creation of music. And when they compose those pieces, they were created. And when those pieces are performed, they are performed by musicians who interpret those creations. And it's very difficult to think about these propositions and these composers in relation to improvising compositions because they didn't write them to be improvised. They composed them for someone to play them or to interpret them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Most of the music that we play has been written for improvisation and inspired for people to improvise. When 
I write, of course, I specifically have either certain people in mind that I'm writing for, because I know how they sound. I know I can do this about how important sound is. Each individual musician that I've met during my lifetime has been close to them, have individual sounds and personalities as human beings and as musicians. So when I compose something for a particular person, uh, or with a particular person in mind that's going to play it, it's specifically for the work. I understand what you're saying. I, I can be inspired by this in the body. Actually, what you're saying is like we uh, we have uh, been in different situations. Uh, some of the contemporary composers today, separate with them, and speaking of that kind of Richard Stockhouse, Terry Rock Cage, and us as improvisers, improvising in the context of classical musicians with classical instruments. That's what you're speaking. Of. Have we uh, thought of being in that environment with particular music? with classical musicians and improvising, which I think that we have and it is happening, especially in Europe. And that particular intellectual type of what we call contemporary music, to me, is very much in Japan. It's incredible what's happening for intellectual music on that level, with not only just classical instruments, but those motives to mold to me, it's very simple to set up an intellectual mood that we can all improvise together.